Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to look at creating inverse text like this in Photoshop. Before we begin I have more Photoshop training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare you get access to thousands of classes there including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine is better. Please feel free to share this coupon with family and friends. Let's swing back to Photoshop. Now this image that we're going to be working with is actually from Vect Easy. What I did is I took this image and just removed all the content from the background so that we just have this man in the front. So that's where the image came from. So it's been converted to black and white. We're going to put some text on top of this. It's going to be the word freedom. Now I'm going to set it to black because I want to show you what's not going to work first. There's a temptation to use a black font here because you can actually see it. And then when you bring the text down so it's over the sort of black area, what you want it to do is to sort of invert. You want it to go white. And so there's a real temptation to make your text black to begin with. In actual fact, that's exactly what you shouldn't do. So I'm going to put my text where I can still see it a little bit. Go to the Type tool, make sure that I have my text selected. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to make it the opposite. I'm going to make it white. And so now it's just working the opposite way to the black. When it's over the white area, you can't see it. When it's over the black area, you can see it. But again, we're not getting that sort of invert behavior. Well, we are going to get it if we blend this text layer using either difference or exclusion and it doesn't matter which one you use you get exactly the same result. Now there are a lot of videos on the web that try to get you to make two layers to get this effect. You don't need two layers you just need the right color text and the right color text is white text not black text. So just be aware of that and then you can type whatever you like as your word and then set it to difference or exclusion blend mode and you get this wonderful effect. So I hope this video has helped you understand how you can get these effects with just one layer of fully editable text. This text can be changed to be whatever word you like and to be whatever font or size that you like and it's still going to work. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.